We pick up this episode in week two after starting our season one and oh, we're going to start off with the read option just like how we did last episode. And we're going to take this all the way to the crib for 75 yards. So go ahead and start out this game with the bang man 7-0 and I'm already establishing myself as one of the best dual threats in the league with this touchdown right here. As we take an early lead against the Cardinals, we're going to get the ball back as they didn't score and we're going to be able to give it to Cedric Wilson on this little touch pass. He's going to pick up about a gain of seven. Then here on second down, we give it to my boy AK. He's able to get the first down by falling forward, fighting for that extra yard right there. Now here two plays later on third and nine, we're able to hit Chris Olave on a corner route to get us inside the red zone now i'm dropping back yet again on first and 10 and i hit chris olave on that same corner route to go ahead and put us up 14 and our defense got another stop man they've been balling so far this first half and speaking of balling look at alvin kamara he's gonna pick up about a gain of 20 yards on the play right there and then we're gonna go with the read option the very next play get the defense biting on the run i make a move to the outside and i get us well within the red zone right here on this read option man i've been cooking with my legs all season long so far here we're gonna give it to ak once again and he gets us another solid gain of six so we're gonna go ahead and give it right back to him he's able to get us yet another first down making a defender miss getting us to the six yard line then on first and goal i'm dropping back and i miss my tight end wide open on that hook route man those are some throws that i gotta make in the league but here i'm gonna go ahead and make up for it as we're gonna go with another read option i'm gonna walk into the end zone basically untouched if i didn't do too much and here we're up 21-0 against the cardinals man we're feeling good and our defense gets yet another stop so we're trying to just go ahead run away with this game i get another gain of 10 right there on the read option now i'm dropping back to throw i don't see anything i like so i'm gonna take off yet again with my my legs man get us another gain of about 20 yards on the play 170 yards with only seven rushes it's gonna make up for the fact that i'm missing easy throws like that but here we're gonna get sacked to make it a fourth and 17 but our defense does get us a good stop so here we're already right outside the red zone with me breaking this tackle and breaking off this big run we're gonna get right inside there man another first and 10 knocking on the door two plays later on this third and nine haven't really been able to get much going but i'm able to hit cedric wilson and he's gonna go ahead and dive into the end zone to give us our final touchdown of this game as we're gonna move on to 2-0 and on the season beating the cardinals 28 to 7 here we have our first divisional matchup of the year man we have the carolina panthers and we're starting off down 7-0 and as you see we're gonna have to punt early on here but our defense gets a good stop to get us inside the red zone already alvin kamara is gonna pick up about eight yards and i'm dropping back here on the second and two i don't see anything i like so i'm gonna start this game off just like how i have the last two of the season with a rushing touchdown man we're gonna tie up this game 7-7 but something tells me man we're gonna have to fight if we're gonna want to win this one carolina is not a pushover team like they were the season before they made some crazy free agency signings, and that offense looks ridiculous. So we're going to have to go ahead and match them if we want any chance of winning this game. And I'm going to keep it going with about a gain of 15 right here on the read option, breaking some tackles, making some men miss, get us a first and 10. But here we're going to go ahead and get sacked by Jadavion Clowney, man. That's what I'm saying. They got defense. We're going to get sacked again, and we're going to have to punt on a fourth and 35. Our defense held them to three, but I'm not going to lie. That's not going to last long as I miss a crucial third down right here to Taysom Hill. And just like that, man, we went from being down three to being down 24 to seven in the second half i told you that panthers offense can catch fire out of nowhere we kept getting stopped and they kept scoring so just like that man we're down big in this game and we're gonna have to come back and i'm gonna start that off right here breaking some ankles right there to get us right outside the red zone i'm dropping back to throw i'm able to hit alvin kamara he's gonna make a man miss right there and he's able to pick up about six yards make it a second and four then i'm finally able to hit Taysom hill to get us inside the 10 yard line first and goal i'm dropping back to throw we desperately need a touchdown i'm able to hit olave he's gonna fall at about the one yard line so I'm gonna go ahead and take it myself man to give me another rushing touchdown on this game We're still down 10 points, but our defense was able to get a stop So if we can go ahead and score here, man That'll mean so much as this third quarter comes to an end I'm able to hit AT Perry back-to-back -back first downs two catches 20 yards right there That's huge first and ten we go back to the read option We're able to make the defense bite on Kamara and I to the outside and I'm gonna take this all the way for my third rushing touchdown of this game And not only that now we are only down three points pending the extra point if our defense can get us one more stop We can be in a position to win this football football game and they're going to do exactly that so I have a chance to win this game with seven minutes left of course we're going to start off with the read option I'm going to break a tackle and pick up about 12 yards there on that play next play fresh to the downs I'm dropping back I'm looking to throw I hit Taysom Hill on the drag route he's able to catch it over the shoulder to pick up about eight yards and second and two we just give it to Kamara to make sure we pick up the first down and he does just that so here very next play we're able to hit Cedric Wilson for a gain of five we go with the read option on second down I'm able to hit to the edge man I pick up a block able to pick up about 15 yards on the read option across the 50 yards yard line just like that here we give it to Kamara and he's able to pick up about 10 yards right there to get us another first down we're officially in the red zone I hit Chris Olave this is a key third and three man we need this first down I'm looking to throw I try to hit Taysom Hill on the slant but he gets mauled really should have been a pass interference he didn't even touch the ball but we're forced to take three man I, I did the job kind of I got us to the position but our defense is not going to be able to get a stop in overtime man as we lose our first game of the season in a heartbreaker to the Carolina Panthers we started too slow man I 
I woke up too late. If we want to beat the undefeated Miami Dolphins here in week four, that cannot happen, but we're going to get off to a good start here. It always seems like our first play is a big run by me as I'm able to pick up 29 yards on my first play of this game, dropping back on a first and 10. I'm able to hit Taysom Hill wide open on the corner route, and we're going to start this game off fast as we get an early lead against the Miami Dolphins. Our defense is also going to get a stop, so that is huge, man. That is an explosive offense with Tyreek and Waddle. Here, I'm able to pick up nine on the run, and then I break a tackle to go ahead and pick up yet another first down on the read option. And I think it's safe to say that I'm the best rushing quarterback in the NFL so far through week four. I'm dropping back to throw here on this first and 10. I'm able to hit Alvin Kamara out of the backfield. He's able to break a tackle and make it a second in inches. And then here we just go ahead and go with the play action, trying to pick up this first down. I'm able to hit Cedric Wilson wide open over the middle on a crosser to get us inside the red zone yet again, threatening to take a two score lead on the Miami Dolphins. And I overthrow Cedric Wilson on this third down. So we're only able to get three, but at least we are up by double digits. But now that's going to end as we get a safety here and they're actually going to go ahead and score their first touchdown of this game man so just like that we went from being up two possessions to only being up one point Alvin Kamara is going to go ahead and try to get us back on the scoreboard here picking up about a gain of 20 yards and I'm dropping back to throw on a key third down I'm looking I'm able to hit Taysom Hill to give us a first down and move the chains dropping back yet again on this first down and I miss Cedric Wilson wide open on that drag route second and 10 I'm dropping back again and this time I'm able to hit A.T. Perry he's able to get us a first and goal knocking on the door to score yet again but we were actually only able to get three right there here as you see we're gonna get sacked we try to give it to Alvin Kamara he doesn't really get too many yards man and the Dolphins defense this is really where they buckle down here in this third quarter third and 17 I miss a wide open Taysom Hill our defense was able to get a stop but the very next drive I'm dropping back to throw and I end up throwing a bad interception to Jalen King right here man and that's what I'm saying for some reason we could not get anything going against this Dolphins defense they were only able to get three but here on third and 14 I miss another receiver man and they're actually gonna go ahead and get seven off that so just like that we are down seven points with only two minutes left in this fourth quarter I'm gonna have to try to bring us back but I just continue to miss open receivers man I don't know what it is I don't know if I'm nervous being away or what it is but I can't make these throws and now it's the third and 15 I'm just gonna go ahead and use my legs man the only thing that's been surefire so far this season I'm able to get us a clutch first down man falling forward breaking tackles I'm the reason we're in this deficit in the first place man so the last thing I'm gonna do is give up I try to hit Taysom Hill right here on the tough ball but he gets hit right as it hits his hands incomplete pass so here I'm dropping back again on second down I don't see anything so I'm just getting as many yards as possible very next play I hit Cedric Wilson on the drag route but that's gonna make it a fourth and one we're gonna go for it they're gonna call the QB blast I juke to the outside I'm able to pick up some extra yards and just like that man it's a first and goal we have one minute left man we can go ahead and tie up this game we hit Alvin Kamara on the screen he's gonna walk into the end zone to go ahead and tie up this game man I drove us down the field I got us a game tying touchdown we shouldn't have been in this situation to begin with though that's why I'm upset I had a terrible game and Miami is going to go and get seven with one minute left and if I could have just made any of those throws first second or third quarter we could have been on the celebrating side but just like that we lose two straight games and now we have another divisional matchup against the Falcons so this is a must win right here we're going to start off with my legs just like we always do man to go ahead and pick up about 27 yards first play of this game I'm dropping back I'm looking to throw I'm able to hit Chris Olave right here for about a gain of 10 I'm dropping back yet again just trying to go ahead and get my swagger back man trying to make some throws here. I'm not gonna lie man last week kind of got into my head it was kind of a repeat of college my legs are always gonna be there I'm always gonna have a good game rushing but whether or not I can make the big throws the third and fourth down throws man those inaccurates those accurates those are the difference between my teams winning and losing games and that's always how it's been man I've been able to win championships but I've also lost some of the easiest games of my career against teams we're supposed to beat just because I'm off one day but here as you see as I said my legs are never gonna fail as I'm gonna take this all the way to the crib after making a defender miss and those are the big plays that I'm capable of making every single week but can I make the same caliber plays with my arm is the question that the scouts were asking it's why I fell a couple spots in the draft despite winning two national championships man but here we're able to make another good throw to Cedric Wilson to pick up the first down and if I can just keep my accuracy going get my confidence right make my throws man we can go as far as any team in this league and I full heartedly believe that so here on this third and 14 I'm dropping back and it looks like that's going to be a big if man like I said if I can make the big plays, if I can make the throws, but here I am going to be able to make the throw and Taysom Hill is going to be able to finish the plays. He's going to juke out Jesse Bates to go ahead and give us a seven point lead against the Falcons headed into halftime, man. We're going to get the ball back right here to start off the half as well. We're going to go with the read option. I'm running. It's me and Jesse Bates. I'm able to make him miss just like Taysom did, man. It looks like Jesse don't got no open field tackling and Grady Jarrett got hurt. So that's actually going to be good for us. Don't want to risk injury on anybody, man, but Grady Jarrett has been giving us hell all game long. I'm able to hit Taysom Hill again and then the very next play I'm 
I'm able to hit Chris Olave wide open in the seam to go ahead and bust this game open, but Atlanta's not going to go away, so we're still only up seven right here as they match our score. I'm able to hit Cedric Wilson as it's looking like this second half. I'm making all the throws that I need to to go ahead and win this game. And way to jinx it, man, as I overthrow Perry on a third and 10. We're going to have to punt, but our defense gets us a stop. So here on a first and 10, we have to take the ball about 99 yards to go ahead and close out this game. I'm dropping back on a second and one. Don't see anything I like, so I'm going to go ahead and take it myself, man. As I said, I've been continuing to kill with these legs. Jesse Bates is flying all game long, man. He can't make any tackles. Seven rushes for 164 yards. I'm literally the best runner in this league. Quarterback, running back, it doesn't matter, man. Second and eight across the 50. I'm dropping back. We're actually going to get sacked here to make it a third and 12. We want to go ahead and get this first down if we want to at least make it a two-score game, which we do by hitting Cedric Wilson open over the middle of the field here on a third and seven. We needed this first down, but they jailbroke us with that blitz. I did my job. We weren't able to get seven, but I was able to get us a two-score lead, and with this kneel, we're going to go ahead and take a three-point lead against Atlanta. Go ahead and win another divisional game on the season headed into week six, where we have a tough Jets team right here, and we're going to open it up on this third and 18 with a big play to Cedric Wilson. He's going to make two-man miss to get us across the 40-yard line right here. First and 10, we're going to go with the read option. I'm able to get to the outside. We get a good block, and I'm able to run this all the way into the end zone. It seems like almost every game starts off with a rushing touchdown by me, but we're able to start this game off 7-0 against the Jets. They're going to go ahead and tie it up, though, so we give it to AK on the read option this time. He's able to pick about 9 yards. We go with the read option again. Alvin Kamara gets the ball again, able to pick about 20 this time on the run. First and 10, we're going to keep feeding Alvin Kamara as he's just cooking so far. Able to get us about 8 yards here. Then second and 2, we go with the play action to capitalize off the run working so well, but it's going to go back to AK yet again, who's going to get us another first down on this drive. This has been the AK show, so that's why the read option works perfectly right here. I'm able to go ahead and slide and get us inside the 15-yard line right here. First and 10, I'm dropping back to throw, looking for another touchdown. I'm able to hit Cedric Wilson to get us a first and goal here. Then we go with the speed option, and who else but Alvin Kamara to go ahead and finish this drive, man. He must have had about eight, nine touches on that drive to get us a touchdown right here. Give us the lead against the Jets, but they're going to tie up the game yet again. I'm able to hit AT Perry. He's able to get a first down and a lot more. As we cross the 50-yard line right here, I'm dropping back to throw on this first and 10. I'm able to hit Taysom Hill on the run. Perfect ball. He's able to take this all the way to the end zone to go ahead and give us a lead again against the Jets. Hopefully, our defense can finally get us a stop so we can get some breathing room right here, which they're actually going to go ahead and do. So with a minute left until a half, we can actually go ahead and take a two-score lead as we hit A.T. Perry for this first down. I'm dropping back on our next play, looking to throw, and I actually throw a bad interception, looking for Chris Olave on the post, but that, but that corner jump it perfectly man so instead of being able to go up two possessions now we're only up by three to start the second half but at least we have the lead man and at least we have the ball so hopefully we can go ahead and capitalize on that i'm able to hit cedric wilson on this tough drag route to pick up another first down and get us across the 50 i'm dropping back to throw yet again at perry gets wide open and i'm able to hit him on the crossing route and he's able to fall into the end zone to go ahead and give us a good lead right here 10 points against the jets hopefully our defense can get another stop which they do so here we can go ahead and close out this game potentially go up by three scores i hit this juke on the read option me versus sauce gardner i'm gonna go ahead and spin him out as well to go ahead and give us a first down i do get sacked the next play so here on a second and 13 we're able to hit alvin kamara he's able to break a tackle make a man miss break another tackle and fall forward to give us this big first down right here headed toward the end of the third quarter we need to go ahead and put some points on the board we go with the read option right here i fall forward to give us about a gain of eight now here on a third down we give it to alvin kamara he's able to pick up about 15 yards to give us a first and 10 on the 15 yard line i'm dropping back to throw i don't see anything I'm trying to scramble. I get to the edge, man. I make the defender miss. Quinnen Williams slams me on my back, but not before I get us the first and goal at the one. And coach just lets me finish off the drive right here to get yet another rushing touchdown on the season, continuing to assert my dual threat dominance over the league, man. That's going to go ahead and pretty much end this game against the Jets. Our defense got a good stop later on in the fourth here inside the red zone. So with the read option, I pick up about another gain of 14 yards right here, knocking on the door to go ahead and put an exclamation point on this game. And Chris Olave is going to do just that as he flies into the end zone to give us another win on this season. We're going to need to move that momentum on to next week as we have the Panthers yet again. We just lost them about two weeks ago and with them being in our division, man, we do not want to go ahead and drop two games in a row to them. Chris Olave starts it off just how he ended it, making a big play. And I'm going to go ahead and walk into the end zone, starting off this game as I have every other with another rushing touchdown, man. We take a 7-0 lead on the Panthers, but here first and 10 from the one yard line, I'm able to hit Chris Olave to pick up about a gain of 9. Then here on the second and one, I'm able to hit him yet again to pick up a first down and give us some much needed breathing room on this long drive. Here we're going to go with the read option. I'm going to pick up some big yards, juking to the inside, making two defenders miss, and picking up about a gain of 15 on the run right there. Dropping back here on a third and four. A few plays later, I'm able to hit Cedric Wilson to get us right outside the red zone. Here on a second and 10, we give it to Alvin Kamara, and he's able to get us officially inside the red zone with about a
gain of 15 yards on that run. First and 10, I'm dropping back to throw. I'm able to hit Cedric Wilson to make it a second and two. Then the next play on a third and three, I'm looking and I'm able to hit Taysom Hill in the end zone as the defender gets lost. And we take a 14 point lead on the Panthers and our defense got another stop, man. So we can really run away with this game. As I make three defenders miss with one juke, man, I'm locked in. And let's see if Alvin Kamara is too. As we give it to him on the buck sweep, he's going to get to the edge and make a man miss to pick up about a gain of 25 yards on that play, man. 48 yards with only three rushes. He's been doing his thing. We're going to give it to him again. He's going to pick up about another gain of 15 here on the run as it looks like our offense can do no wrong so far in this first half. I'm dropping back to throw. I'm able to hit Taysom Hill to pick up a solid gain of yards here. Then second and three, I'm dropping back from under center yet again. And I'm able to hit my boy Chris Olave to get us inside the red zone. Second and 14 after I get sacked, I'm looking to throw. I'm looking for a touchdown. I don't see anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and scramble, pick up as many yards as possible. I get to the edge to make it a third and two, dropping back here. And I'm able to hit Cedric Wilson in the end zone to give us a 21 point lead on the Panthers, man. Our defense does finally give up seven. So we're only up 14 to start the second half, but this is a great position to be in, especially since we lost to them last time. I'm able to make another play with my legs, picking up about 20 yards on the read option. I'm scrambling here. I try to hit Cedric Wilson on the crosser. I thought he had enough space, but JC Horn closed the gap as soon as the ball went in the air. And just like that, we're only up seven points. So I need to go ahead and lock in, which I do right here, hitting Taysom Hill on the corner route, man, getting us inside the red zone across the 25 yard line right here. Next play, we give it to Alvin Kamara and he's able to get us yet another first down, man. We're knocking on the door to this touchdown. We cannot lose this game after being up 21-0 and I'm going to go ahead and give us a 14 point lead, dive into the end zone for yet another rushing touchdown on this game and on the season. But we can't celebrate too much as now that Carolina's caught fire, they will not go away. So here we're only up seven again. I'm able to hit Cedric Wilson to get us across the 50 as he's able to break us to tackle. Next play, we go with the read option. I'm able to keep it, make two men miss with the juke to the outside and get us yet another first down, man, as we're just trying to go ahead and get us some points to put this game away. Less than five minutes left here. I juke to the outside, break another tackle. I just won't go down, stiff arm another man and fall forward, turn a loss of yards to a gain of five here. So now I'm dropping back to throw and I'm able to hit Chris Olave on the zig route. He's able to get us a first and goal. We're guaranteed three, but if we can go ahead and get another touchdown, which Alvin Kamara does right here, we'll go up 14 points with only four minutes left. And as you see, Carolina is going to go ahead and score again and keep all of their timeouts. So even though Kamara got that touchdown, this game is not over, but I'm fighting for every yard, picking up about another gain of 15 on the read option. Second and 14, I'm able to hit Taysom Hill. Third and one, we need this first down to go ahead and close out the game. We call the QB blast, and I pick up more than enough yards needed to go ahead and ice this game away as they're finally forced to use their last timeout. We give it to AK right here to just go ahead and chew the clock. He gets to the outside, makes a man miss, breaks another tackle, gets us another first and goal. So we're actually going to go ahead and run the ball again to close out this game and win by 14, 42 to 28 against Carolina as we get our revenge and start this season four and two.